Hey guys, welcome back. In these next few videos, we would like to run you through the updates that we have made to the Link app for the new Addis update. Let's begin. In this video, we will be discussing the heirloom cupping function, which is new in the preference menu. This preference is to be turned on when roasting Ethiopian Landrace varieties for cupping purposes. It was discovered from our data that the roast plans suggested by the Link app were suitable, but some default development percent in the cupping packs were not ideal when roasting high-density Ethiopian Landrace varieties, wanting to improve. This feature has been developed so that you can notify the Link algorithm when roasting these varieties for cupping purposes and allow it to factor in a custom development percentage suggestion that will allow for a more successful sensory experience when cupped. It is important to note that this feature can be activated in combination with Arabica, advanced as well as advanced roast details. But unless selecting Arabica, it has no purpose in the all species mode. Also, note that unless roasting Ethiopian land races, it is advised this function is turned off in your preference menu. In order not to misguide users to make adjustments for other Arabica varieties, where changing the development percent would not be needed. Today, we are roasting some Sadarmo samples. So, let's turn it on and see how we can use it. We will go to the new sample entry. We will select cupping as the roast style. Today, we will do two entries. One with a volume by weight density of 68 to show a recommendation where it would suggest we increase the development percent from the default and the second with a volume by weight of 64 to show a recommendation where the default development percent range is deemed adequate and not in need of adjusting. For both samples, we will select the process as natural. For the first entry, we have an Ethiopian Landrace variety with a higher density of 68. When the solution is populated, we see that we are advised to increase the development of the D12% roast plan to 13.5%. Now let's do the same for an Ethiopian Landrace coffee with a density of 64. When this solution is populated, though the same roast plan is also recommended. When it comes to the suggested development percent range, we are advised that no action is needed. And that is a wrap. With Addis, getting the perfect cupping roast for Ethiopian Landrace varieties has never been easier. As always, happy roasting.